Good day. Greetings from War Trade Bangladesh. This is my immense pleasure to be able to participate in this workshop and share the work that we do in Bangladesh involving microfinance institutions for improving access to safe drinking water by the rural households through self-supply. Now, instead of introducing War Trade and discussing the work that we carried out globally and in Bangladesh, I would like to start my presentation with a fundamental question. Why a partnership between WASH NGOs and microfinance institutions needed at all? Because those we who are familiar with the way microfinance system operates, they do provide loans for various purposes. And what we have learned from the presentation from water.org, we have seen that it's possible to attain large number of clients through water credit, taking the, uh, the, taking the approach of self-supply as well. Um, and also, as we understand that way WASH NGOs work in Bangladesh and in other countries like Watrade and many of the implementing partners, uh, that um, these, these WASH NGOs, they work in uh, the local communities with a view to improving access to safe water, sometimes with direct service delivery, sometimes by advocacy work. Eventually, uh, the local households, they are benefited. Why can't a microfinance institution alone uh, take the full responsibility of providing uh, a loan for uh, safe water? Or why can't a WASH NGO uh, carry out such activity? To answer this question, uh, we need to address two critical factors, or I would rather uh, urge us to remember. Number one, quite a funny term, um, fungibility of credit coming from old microfinance literature. Um, it means that loans are fungible. They can be used for other purposes. Uh, you may expect that a loan has been given for installing safe water point, but uh, the, the person uh, or the borrower can use the, use the loan for any other purpose. Even if the person uh, utilizes the loan for installing a safe uh, water, uh, water point, there is a question of uh, the safety. For example, even if the water point is safe, if uh, the knowledge about a uh, safe way of storing and drinking water, the consumption of unsafe water can potentially undermine the achievement. That's the reason why it is critically important that we look into the way microfinance institutions and the approaches by WASH NGOs are combined together so that the knowledge, the behavior, practice, financial capacity, they can be combined together with a view to improving self-supply of water, safe water to be precise. Keeping this in mind, I have organized my session by addressing two questions. The first question is, can there be a nexus between WASH NGOs and microfinance institutions for improving self-supply of safe water? The second question, what are the efficient and sustainable mechanisms for creating partnerships between WASH NGOs and MFIs? And based on the experience of water aid, uh, I'm trying to uh, respond to these two questions. The first one, uh, uh, answering the question, I would refer to a pilot that WATAID carried out in 2016 and 17 as part of uh, one of uh, the WASH projects in the northern uh, Bangladesh. For the first time, uh, we integrated microfinance system uh, with a couple of our in implementing partners, ESDO and SKS Foundation, through which uh, we have actually disbursed uh, over uh, 350,000 uh, US dollars equivalent of Bangladeshi currency to 3,500 households. But that was not kind of a standalone intervention just by giving loan. We tried to look both the supply and demand side by creating a supply and demand model. How we have done that? The role of WATAID as WASH NGO through the WASH partner was to see, stimulate the demand through awareness raising activities with the communities on the importance of improved wash facilities. So the communities would take the initiative or feel the urge of installing a safe uh, water point, but there might be some constraints when it comes to uh, their uh, capability of uh, the financial capability of uh, cover the installation cost. That, that's where we have brought in our uh, microfinance institution partners who would come in, uh, do the financial assessment, uh, due diligence, provide the loan, and take the responsibility of administration of the loan. So the tasks, our roles are divided in terms of 
creating the demand by the WASH NGO and supplying the credit and administration of the credit by the microfinance institutions. What we have seen that the households have successfully used the loan for climbing what we call WASH ladder. The loans have been created not only for installing water points like tube well, also building concrete platform with drainage around the tube well, making sure that uh, the water remains safe. Some even improve the superstructure of the toilet because you understand that in such context, water points and, uh, and uh, the toilet facilities, the proximity matters and the superstructure matters. And the loan was also used for hand washing facilities. So when it comes to analyzing the outcomes of the pilot, we were really pleased to see that demands were actually created at the household level for microfinance loans to be used for installation of safe water points. And also uh, the financial indicator, for example, the recovery rate of loan was quite high. In fact, it was higher than what we had anticipated. We also uh, tried to uh, link uh, the sanitation entrepreneurs with the microfinance institutions, also with the household level, trying to make sure that households have uh, uh, access to good quality hardware and good quality of uh, services uh, for maintenance. And the local sanitation entrepreneurs, they can actually uh, increase their working capital by receiving loans from these microfinance institutions. So that was kind of creating uh, a linkage with the input and service markets as well. So one very, very important uh, learning was that uh, the deposits, which is uh, a mandatory component of the microfinance system. We kind of found that these deposits played a very, very important role when it comes to operation maintenance, particularly uh, some of the minor uh, repairing of uh, these uh, water facilities. And even for this minor repairing, for uh, not actually repairing, uh, these water points actually can go non-functional. Now, our conclusion was that, yes, there is scope for creating a nexus between wash engines and microfinance when it comes to improving self-supply of safe water in the rural areas of Bangladesh. Finally, some of the key lessons that we have learned from the pilot, it is very, very important how we sequence the interventions through this partnership. Um, when you keep the objective in mind, which is to, in my opinion, increase safe use of water uh, by the rural households in a sustainable manner. Now, very, very important, uh, what efforts are made at the beginning? Uh, knowledge, uh, behavior, practices, they are part of creation of demand which are to be carried out by wash engines because they are specialized in that. Once a clear understanding about the importance of safe water is created at the community level, when a demand is created, then when you uh, link up with the credit services, then you can actually ensure or maximize um, proper use of these microfinance loans for improving self-supply of safe water. Instead, if you go for providing uh, financing from the very beginning, there is every possibility that it will lead to misuse of the loans and mission drift. This is linking up with uh, what I had mentioned at the beginning, fungibility of the credit or loans being used for other purposes. This is my final slide, continuing with some of the key lessons from the pilot. We have to make sure that we maintain a clear distinction of roles between WASH NGOs and microfinance institutions. Each are specialized in their own areas of work. We should not be expecting that WASH NGOs will be uh, administering the loans nor microfinance institutions would be uh, going about at the communities, spending time uh, creating the demand, improving the behavior. It is always better to rely on the competitive and comparative advantages. And uh, we are confident that once demands are created for financial services, for self-supply, and microfinance see there is a benefit for scaling down to the community level, we can always expect that a market-based financing for self-supply of safe water will be created. That's all I had to say for this session. I'll be very happy to answer any question you have. Thank you very much for listening.